This is how to make a playlist on YouTube. So YouTube playlists aren't just great for customizing your channel, they're also a great way to get views on YouTube. So here's everything you need to know. So there's really two main use cases of playlists. The first one is to help people consume related videos. So you're able to group or categorize content together, yours and other people's, all to help you get views. And the second is to help you customize up and to organize your YouTube channel page. And the process for creating these playlists is exactly the same for both, so I'm gonna run through that now. So I'm over on YouTube now, I'm on our Primal Video YouTube channel. If we go to the playlist tab here, then we can see all the different playlists that we have created. But to make a new playlist, you wanna open up your studio dashboard area. You then wanna come over here to content, up the top here, we've got playlists. And in here, again, this is where we can see all of our playlists. We can customize them and edit them up from here. And if you don't have any playlists created here at this point, then there'll be a button here for you to make a new one. If like me, you've already got a bunch in here, then you can come up to the create button up the top here and then come down to new playlist. Now this is where we need to give our playlist a name. You can see it's required here. And you can think of this like your YouTube video title. How do we explain what is happening in this playlist? How do we explain why this is of benefit to the viewer or why they should click on this? What's actually going to be in it? And this is also where you can lean into things like keyword research or topic research so that you're really making sure you're creating stuff here that people actually want. So you can see some examples from our channel in the background here, Instagram for business, Facebook for business, TikTok for business. So obviously anything related to any of those three tools are going to be included in that playlist. We've also got things like how to start a podcast, how to make videos on iPhone, how to make videos on Android, how to edit videos faster. And a lot of these, they're actually search terms. These are actually things that we've done some research on that people are actually searching for. And the amazing thing about playlists and optimizing them this way is that they can actually show up in search results on YouTube as well, as if they were a standalone video. So let's create one here. Best AI video generators is actually quite a decent search. So this is a playlist that we could likely have on our channel. We then wanna give it a description, again, like we would a YouTube video. We wanna include any key information to help our viewers decide if this playlist is for them. But we can also use some keywords and key phrases in there as well to help this get found and pushed out to the right people. So I've got a quick sentence there. If you're looking for the best AI video creation tools, which again is a good search phrase, and AI video generators, another search term, then this playlist is for you. Now, it obviously build this out, give a bit more context again, and you can see that we have up to 5,000 characters that we can include in here. You don't need to fill it, but let's help the viewer understand what this content is about. And obviously, if we can lean into some keywords and things where it makes sense, then we can help the algorithm or YouTube understand what it's about too. We then get to choose if this playlist is going to be public, private, or unlisted on our channel. I'm gonna leave this one here as public. And then we get to choose how we're going to sort our videos inside of the playlist. So you can see the default here is date published and it's gonna show the newest videos towards the top. But you can see there's some other ways that we could categorize our videos in here as well, right down to even manually sorting them out so you can pick which order people should be watching those videos. And from there, we then get to add our videos to the playlist. So if we choose add videos here, then this is gonna bring up a list of your most recent videos. This is videos and shorts on your channel. And we can just check the little box next to them for any of them that might be related. So in this case, this one being around AI, I might do a search here for any of our videos on our channel that mention AI in the title. They're likely gonna be a fit for this. So maybe we'll add these ones here, that'll do for now. We can always come back and we can add more later. We can then choose done, and then we wanna hit create. And we can see that our playlist has been created. If we put our mouse over this section here, you can see that we can edit and make changes to the details as they call it. We can also look at the videos that are in there and we can also access analytics for the videos that are included in this playlist as well. So this is actually a pretty cool feature that if you just wanted to look at groups of videos to pull analytics from on a specific topic and even compare them to others, we can do that here with playlists as well. But obviously as this playlist grows, we can see how many views are coming from this playlist itself, not just the videos individually, but we can also see the amount of watch time and everything from that too. Let's go back. Now if we hit these three little dots here, you can see that we do get some extra options here and you have the ability to set a playlist as a podcast as well. So if you're looking for how to set up a podcast and convert a playlist into a podcast, 
podcast playlist so that it shows up on your channel and is treated as a podcast, then we can do that afterwards here as well. Now we have a dedicated video on setting up a podcast. I'll link that in the description. Now if we want to preview our playlist, we can just hit this button here, watch on YouTube. That's gonna open that playlist up for us and it's gonna start playing through. We can see down the bottom here that this is part of a playlist because it's telling us what video is going to play next. We can hit the little up arrow on this and that's going to give us here a list of all the videos that are in there. Now we also have the ability here to grab a shareable link. So if we press those three dots again, we can choose get shareable link. It's now being copied to our clipboard. So if we wanna send this out or promote that playlist somewhere, then we can easily do that too. We also have options here to view this playlist on YouTube itself, or we can even edit the playlist on YouTube. So let's go to this one, edit on YouTube. This is going to give us a preview of what it's gonna look like, where we can see our description and everything on there. We can see our videos here, and we can also manually sort them in this case too. So if we wanted this other video here at the top, then we could switch the order of these. And this is a really important point I wanna make here. You can see that when I swapped them, that the thumbnail image for this playlist changed too. So whichever video is number one or at the top of your playlist here, is where the thumbnail image comes from. So it's probably a good idea to not have a short like we did at the start here as the first video because it's gonna look pretty strange and cropped off in a lot of places on YouTube. So I would try to, wherever possible, have a regular widescreen YouTube video with the thumbnail applied as the first video that plays in a playlist wherever you can. Now on this page, under this three little dots here as well, we've got a bunch of other options that we didn't have access to before. So now if we choose add videos from here, we're not just limited to adding videos from our channel, we can add videos from anywhere on YouTube. We can search for them up here, we can paste the video URL, but you're not just restricted to adding your own videos to a playlist. Another way that you can do that is, let's just jump back to the home page here. Let's say that we wanted to add this video here to our playlist, we can press the three little dots here, we can choose save to playlist, and we can pick which playlist we want to add them to directly from the video itself. But if we come back to our edit page here, we also have the ability to collaborate with other people. So we're giving other people access to add and modify our playlist as well, to change and to add what videos are in there. And we can also delete our playlist from here too. So that's creating a playlist. That's the optimization with the keywords and the different things that you can optimize in there. Now we're gonna look at how we can use these playlists to customize up our YouTube channel page. So let's just go back to our YouTube channel here. You can see that if I scroll down, we have this for you section here from YouTube. We have videos, which is our most recent uploads here on the channel. So we're showing people that this is a channel that is active, is still uploading stuff. We've got featured videos. We've got a category here for shorts. And then we've got some other categories here that we've created, which are actually playlists. So this one here, how to make videos on iPhone. You can see these videos are laid out here like this. They're all pulled from a playlist. So this is a preview here of our playlist. If we scroll down, we've got the same thing, how to make videos on Android, YouTube for business, how to edit videos faster, filming gear. All of these subcategories here are actually generated from playlists. So if we go back up here to playlists, we can see that all of those are actually playlists and listed here too. And what's cool about this is that one video can actually feature in multiple playlists. So you might find that it's good to have some of your playlists that are optimized for search results and showing up when people are searching for something, but you also might have some maybe with different naming or different wording for the titles of the playlist that would make more sense for your viewers if they landed on your channel page. So different titles for the categories of that content. But how we add these is back up here under your studio dashboard area, then over under customization. And then on this first layout tab here, if we scroll down, we have this featured section. And you can see those same sections here that we just saw on our channel page. These are customizable here. So we've got that for you section from YouTube. We have the default videos one here. We also have popular videos. If we scroll down here, you can see that it was a playlist that we have of featured videos. We've also got our playlist here, a single playlist list for how to make videos on iPhone, how to make videos on Android. We've just added those playlists into this featured section area. Now there is a limit of 12 that you can have on your YouTube channel page. You can see it won't let me add any more at this time, but let's just say I wanna remove this one here. For now, I can press the three little dots. Let's remove this section. I'm gonna have to hit publish before I can add a new one in this case. Okay, so you can see now we can add a section. And then in here, you can see the different types of sections you can add. So there's some here related to live streams, but we've got our playlist ones here. So we can create a single playlist 
featured area, which is what we do and what I would recommend, where it's not just going to list out your playlist, it's going to show you the videos inside of that single playlist. But you also have the ability here to have a featured section of all of your created playlists shown in order or multiple playlists where you get to pick which playlists you wanna highlight. To me, it doesn't really make much sense to show a list of your created playlists because there's already that tab at the top of YouTube that shows all of your playlists. So I much prefer to show a list of videos that people could click on at that point from a single playlist. So we're gonna click here, single playlist. We can then choose one of our playlists that we've created, or we can find any playlist on YouTube and feature that on our channel. But I'm just gonna pick our playlist here for featured videos was the one I just removed. We can then go down, find that playlist. We can then choose where we want to put it. And when we're done, we just wanna make sure that we are hitting publish at the top corner to make sure that's all saved. So that's how easy it is to create and optimize your playlists on YouTube. Now, if you wanna find out how to grow your YouTube channel faster and to get to that 1000 subscriber mark, then check out the video that's linked on screen. As always, we've got a bunch of other tools and resources linked in the description box below to help you. And I will see you in the next video.